Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following showcase video, I'll be showing you on how Tesh Chan's blend AR kit blend shapes look like, so that way you can pretty much use as reference to how to make AR kit. Now, eventually, I will be making a re remake of the AR kit tutorial that I've made in the past. Yes, that tutorial, the, the most recent air kit tutorial I have, that one is a remake of a previous one. And I, because of high demand, I will be making a re-remake. So, ha. Huh. But I will show you Test Chan's blend shape so you can reference it. And again, you can download the study model. Please do that. Because if you want to know how Test Chan's blend shapes actually look like, uh, close up. Download Tesh Chan in the description. She's completely free, public domain. You can do whatever you want with her. I don't care. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how each blend shape looks like. So this is I blink left. This is I look down left. This is I look in left. I look out left. I look up left. This is a squint, and just so you can kind of visually uh, see it, it's like a slight little squint, like that. I wide, I blink right, I look down right, I look in right, I look out right, I look up left, I squint right, and again, just showing you the tiny uh, movement. I look eye wide right jaw forward this isn't uh just to show you how small the movement is or eh, noticeable so it looks like that and then here is jaw left looks like this jaw right the inverted version and then jaw open it's very big and it can look a little weird so do be mindful of it, but this is pretty much how Teshen has the big expressive mouth movement by way. It's because the jaw open is stretched like crazy. Mouth closed, which is pretty much the inverted, uh, it's pretty much jaw open. So take jaw open, for example. Uh, I'm going to make the, let's say the range to negative one. It's pretty much the inverted one, except it's modified, which if you see my, uh, if you saw my, current AR kit tutorial it pretty much explains how to make mouth clothes it'll be in the re-remake but it's still in the um most recent air kit tutorial i made which i'll also leave that in the description by the way so that's mouth clothes and it's supposed to also like um work together in conjunction so this is how it's supposed to look like pretty much it could use some more improvements but eh, it is what it is so it looks like that Mouth funnel, which is pretty much, it looks like this, where it could either be like a round O with the teeth like this, or it could be like this one if you want more like softer little mouth funnel, pretty much. So you can go for something like that. Mouth pucker, so it looks something like this, where the mouth is really puckered, and also the ears move forward, just as a tiny detail, which also I want to point out, even on jaw open, the ears do move too, and even in mouth close, the ears do get changed. So a little extra thing to note. And then mouth right and left. So this is moving the mouth side to side. And then uh, smile left. Smile right. Frown right. And frown left. So that way they pretty much add together. Like this. So this is her frown. And then this is her smile. Looks like that. Pretty big. It could be a little less, but it's alright. Dimple. Uh, this one can be really hard to see, though, uh, because I purposely made it tiny. Some people make it where, uh, for instance, they make it where, let's see, uh, proportional edit connected only. Some make it where there's a slight stretch to add a little emphasis to the dimple, especially for anime faces. But I simply, all I did was I just move it back. But it's just kind of up to you on how you want it. But this is just how I did it, though. You can hardly see any changes unless you, uh, you can see a little, I guess. Actually, let me double check this one. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a difference. But that's how I did it, though. Stretch left and then right. It's pretty much where you stretch the mouth. And I made it a little, like, with a uh, slight frown a bit. Like a slight one. But, you know, it's just stretching the mouth to be a little bigger. 
And then you have roll lower. So just to show you here. So roll lower looks like this. Like that. And roll upper. Let me double check if... Yeah, so the way I did it was I made it where both roll lower and roll upper work together instead of, like, not working together. This kind of just makes them more convincing. Like, you know when girls, they put lipstick on and then they kind of, like, uh... They kind of, like, make their lip... Like, they kind of, like, do the lip smack with the lipstick or something like that. Not sure if you know what I'm talking about. So that's pretty much what I did here just to make the, the rolling lip feel a bit more natural and then shrug the way that one looks like uh upper shrug is this and then lower shrug follows so it's kind of making the mouth move a little higher pretty much uh but also letting you just kind of shrug your mouth upper whoops shrug your mouth upper so they were i make them work together pretty much if that makes sense and then I have it where mouth press left is where the mouth also kind of like moves upward as well. It's just another, uh, it's kind of like when your mouth is like together and you kind of push it a little upward. That's what it's supposed to do. Pretty much that. So that's what I did and it works. And then uh, these four blend shapes here, upper, up, and lower, down, these have to work together. So I'll show you them independently, and then I'll show you how they look like together. So this is lower, down, left, lower, down, right, upper, up, left, mouse, upper, up, right. And then how they look like together. Let me see if I actually did a good job at it. Eh, it's all right. Uh, it could use a little bit more editing there. Like, uh, for example, here, let me put the, the thing here. No, that, that, there you go. Uh, just to kind of fix this a bit more, I would, again, recommend this to be in, like, a more better looking shape. So that way, it, it just kind of gives, like, a little bit, like, more accurate results, if that makes sense. So this is a little whoopsie doopsie from me on Test Chan's rig, but, uh, it's supposed to kind of, like, make, like, let's say this mouse shape for example so yeah that's what these are supposed to do they're supposed to work together but just want to elaborate that brow down left uh so that's the eyebrow it looks like this brow down right inner uh brow inner up and then these three blend shapes are also supposed to work together so brow inner up and then outer up left it's supposed to be mixed with this one it can't be like alone it has to work with this and then outer up right so pretty much to kind of explain this one a little bit better when you are let's say you're sad right or expressing like a worried face your eyebrows will tend to go like a little upward like this when you're kind of worried uh so if i were to have let's say the frown for example it's supposed to make a more convincing sorrow face but then when you're actually surprised, what the iPhone will do is actually trigger these uh, little blend shapes here and make it, again, it could be a little bit more nicer on the arch, but it's supposed to make it like a surprised eyebrows or, you know, just make it more, instead of like looking kind of a little bit sad looking-ish uh, or concern, it then changes to excitement when you're actually are like showing excitement or something. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Then cheek puff, uh, and the funny part. And I did a little thing where I made the side ears. I did a lot of ear movement, by the way, because, again, I'm adding extra details, because why not? Make sure every little part of your face is moving. You have something called muscle, for God's sake. But I have it where the ears kind of move outward a bit. And then cheek squint uh, here. This one, actually, you may be wondering why does Test Chance cheek squint look weird? Because you could do it one of two ways. I just want to elaborate this. You can either A, uh, the, my old, my old, uh, recent tutorial doesn't explain this, but I'll quickly elaborate for you. Again, this, th again, this isn't a tutorial, this is just me showcasing, like, a general workflow for those who already know the workflow. If you are an absolute beginner, please look at the tutorial in the description, I'll explain everything. Um... 
What some people will do, by the way, just for demonstration purposes, is that they'll make it where the lower eye, um, the lower eyelid is a little higher, and it makes it where the mouth moves like this. This is one way you can do it. This is nice if you uh, want to have like a more uh, gentle or softer sort of like uh, squint when you're like, let's say you're having like a smiling face, like a more like a very smiley sort of th face going on. Uh, that's what it's useful for. But the reason why test chans look like this, it's actually because it's supposed to be mixed with, I believe it was eye blink left. I kind of did a bad job at this, unfortunately. Uh, but it's supposed to be mixed with, actually, let me see. Is it supposed to be mixed? Yeah, it's supposed to be mixed with when the eye blink left is activated and then I do a cheek squint. Uh, that one should actually probably get fixed, honestly, but it's alright. Uh, but it's supposed to kind of do like a mixing, although this has been done pretty poorly, if I'm going to be honest. But, you know, you could do that if you want to have it like how live 2D models where they blink and then do us like a smile sort of thing. Like, you could do that, but otherwise this one is uh, sadly all broken up, so... Uh, if I have to fix it, I can fix it, but I'm just saying for you, please don't do what this kind of does, at least in terms of how Teshan's cheek squint is. Do it better. Anyways, so you could do that for cheek squint, either way I explained before, or trying to make it where you can have like a, a smile blink going on uh, during tracking, but you know, it's really up to a personal preference. And then no sneer left, uh, pretty much... It's moving like the nose upward, but also uh, this is inspired by Hana Tool regarding the eyebrow because the way Hana Tool works is that it will move the eyebrow a little down, but not the nose itself actually. So this can be nice if you're trying to like, if you're like, um, let's say if you're having allergies and your nose flares up, that's pretty much what these are supposed to do. They're supposed to kind of like flare up your nose and sometimes, and pretty much your eyebrows can also flare too, so it just adds extra detail. And then last but not least, the tongue out. There you go, tongue out. And then uh, you may be wondering to yourself, how does the tracking look like in action? I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up iFacial mocap, turn on my iPhone here. So let me do that. Ah, uh, look at that. My malware bites have gotten triggered. Great job, malware bites. Oh wait. Actually, hold up one second. I need to double check that that one's actually affecting eye facial mocap. Well, BRB. Okay, so I situate my uh, antivirus, but pretty much this is how the tracking looks like in effect. Uh, pretty much, as I mentioned before, with the jaw open here. I made it big for a reason, because if you were to be talking and mumbling, like, oh my god, I'm talking very little, uh, it pretty much helps make sure that your mouth is moving as much as possible, even when you're mumbling. And you can also, again, notice that the ears are also moving around. Because, again, uh, if you look at yourself in the mirror, you will probably notice that when your jaw is opening, like, realistically, it's a very minimal, like, the ears will move in a minimal way, but... Again, it's still a detail that does exist with the IRL body is that your ears are going to move with your mouth movement sometimes. So there's that. But pretty much this is how the tracking looks like. And again, you can still download Test Chan in the description below. So again, if you want to like reference the blend shape yourself or do a face swap or something like that, then you can. So again, I literally do not care. Just do whatever you want. And in case you're also wondering why am I using eye blend shape movement, this is just a matter of personal preference because eye blend shapes give me more fine control of where the eyes are. So that's why I choose eye blend shapes because they just give more precise control. Eye bones are still good, especially if you have like realistic eyes, like the sphere eyes, for example. That's what they're good for. Sphere eyes are good for bone for the bone controls but uh for anime eyes usually it would be more recommended uh to try out the blend shape eye movement just that preference but there are still some like i know there's some uh artists uh 3d artists that would actually prefer bone eyes over blend shape eyes and that's perfectly fine as long as it works with them 
you know. This is just merely just like a showcase guide, uh, again, of how I set up uh, Test Chance Blend Sheets or how they look like as a video if case for some reason you don't want to download Test Chan because probably you just don't want to download Test Chan. Although I still recommend downloading Test Chan and say the blend shapes. But either way, eventually I will be making a, a more like a re remake of that air kit tutorial I mentioned. So that way for those who are, again, beginners and really want to see like the actual workflow behind uh, how I make Test Chance Blend Shape from Complete Scratch, mainly for a Void Mall, then yes, uh, that tutorial will appear. I'm not sure when, but just know in the future it will appear. But I do hope at least you enjoyed this little showcase video, and hopefully for my lovely advanced users, this will satisfy you. So that way you know how, how like in a nutshell, how do I make my blend shapes uh, in a nutshell, and that way you can be able to use it to probably get some more inspiration, and, and I want you guys to show me more crazier stuff uh, that you could do with the face. I, I, I get, I want to see some crazy stuff. I don't care if you give it, like, uh, forehead uh, rigging, like, more in-depth forehead rigging, or uh, more uh, cheek movement, or nose, uh, more intense nose movement. Also, as a little bonus, by the way, um, let me go ahead and pull up the glasses, because, yes, uh... I do have it where the glasses do move. So let me quickly show you that real quick. Let's see. So on jaw open, the glasses do move down, for example. Uh, even on mouth close, they also move. Uh, you can also have it where on mouth shifting, the glasses can tilt, actually. I'll actually show you that real quickly. Uh, just Again, I'm just giving you some inspiration, pretty much. Let's see. Uh, mouth left. Uh, let's just let's just do this for example, and then enable tracking here. See, so again, you can do some more crazier stuff. See, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or heck, uh, you can also do a, a very silly thing where, let's say, for example, uh, Let's say, I don't know, you can have it where your glasses could actually be blinking with your eyes. Uh, again, really up to you, but, you know, you can make this work. Just showing you a little example. <laughs> this is not a good example, but I'm just saying. See? You could do that if you want. Again, uh, only your imagination's the limit, and also a matter of, like, what your preference is, really, so... There you go. Again, don't feel limited. Um, you can be as creative as you want, pretty much. But otherwise, uh, even on Test Chan, I believe the cheek puff. Uh, yeah, the cheek puff also moves too, like the glasses. So, yeah, pretty much uh, on some like blend shapes here, mainly jaw open and, you know, like I did with mouth left. And then cheek puff and mouth closed. That's pretty much where I would have the glasses be moving. But again, you can have it pretty much anywhere else if you want to make it more dynamic. Just a matter of preference. But either way though, uh, I do hope that you have been informed. And let me know if you have any other questions. But of course, uh, I will, uh, whenever I can, I will try my best to make the re-remake tutorial of the air kit blend shapes from complete scratch. So you can see every little workflow that I've done. But uh, again, this is good as a, like, a little showcase reference thing. So if you don't want to download Test Chan, at least you have this video. And the, also me just commentating the blend shapes so you know like exactly like how the blend shapes are supposed to be mixed around and stuff. But, you know. Either way, hope you have a lovely day. See you next time. Bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.